guys, it's me, Stormy, and here is your weekly horoscope for the week of April 20th, and we are coming into a new moon week, plus we've got Saturn and the Sun squaring this week. We're going to end this week having Pluto going retrograde, so it's kind of a week where there is a fair amount of stuff going on, so we're going to jump in and talk about it, not to mention I have invited fellow astrologer Nadia Shaw over to the um, cyber house here to our channel so that we can talk about that Pluto retrograde a little bit more in depth what it feels like how we're working on that how we're using it so make sure you definitely check out that video but before we jump in I have to come back in here and tell you guys about this juice again I am still on the alpha juice I have just been enjoying this juice in this company so so much and again I can't say enough how proud I am that someone from our tribe went out they created their company and they're trying to make their mark now this is the second week I have had this juice and I have to tell you um, I'm pretty picky about the things that I eat and I'm pretty picky about the things that I talk about and this has just been wonderful it has got a good flavor it's not heavy and I always like to see how things sit with my body because I don't know if you're like that but I don't want to I don't like heavy things. I don't like things that make me feel like I'm out of balance. And this has been wonderful, especially I've been creating content like crazy over this last week. So it has been so nice to be able to grab a juice and have that and know that it's something good. So I don't know if you're interested in it. This is the Maha one, and this is the one that I like, and the Beet one. That one is good, too. So if you guys decide that you want to check it out, support the tribe, whichever way you decide to go, there's a little discount code for you right underneath this video because I was like, look, I like your stuff. I want to share it with people. So check it out. Go check them out at alphajuiceco.com, okay? All right, so as we are jumping into this week, we are coming in on a new moon week, which is always very exciting because we plant our seeds of intention this week of things we'd like to begin new or have a fresh perspective with. So it's always an exciting week, but before we get to that new moon this week, we're going to start out with the sun who's recently moved into the energy of Taurus. So happy birthday, my Taurin friends. This is an energy of delicious and value and harmony and beauty, and it's a slower energy. It's pretty gentle, pretty calm, right? that sun energy is going to square up with Saturn who's over right now in the energy of Aquarius now a sun Saturn square this brings challenges it is a square but as you guys know I think a square is also quite useful it puts us under enough pressure that we're going to make some changes we're going to take some action right we're going to need to make some decisions or do something to move us forward. So with the sun squaring Saturn, you are trying to take action. You are trying to care for yourself. You are trying to maybe slow down and something kind of just throws a wrench in the plane and you've got to change direction or you feel like you're a little bit blocked in trying to get something moving forward or to get something done. That energy is not going to last forever, but when the sun and the Saturn energies tangle, it can feel pretty heavy. So if it feels that way, it's okay. Now, the other way you can use that energy is to let it ground you, right? If you've been having this interesting time, because remember, the sun is in Taurus, but Saturn's in Aquarius, but sad, but Aquarius's ruler, Uranus, is also in Taurus. So really, your routines and what's your new norm is maybe shaken up just a little bit, even if you're doing exactly the things you were doing six months ago. Something is different, and so it may be feeling like it's kind of hard to grasp it and ground it down. And that's okay. That energy won't last forever. Dig into it, right? Dig into it. See where you can make these adjustments to social out a little bit more, to... Um, take on that technology challenge that you're having, right? There's still a useful cause for that energy for sure. Now, as we get to the 22nd, we're going to see the new moon happening in the energy of Taurus. And if you haven't had a chance to check out the new moon in Taurus video, please check it out. It gives a lot more detail as to what's going on there, but this is definitely going to be a new moon where, of course, the sun and the moon are together, so anything's possible. Plant your seeds of intention, but it's also got an interesting influx of Uranian energy, so there could be some surprise happening here. Now, this on the heels of a Sun-Saturn square, this is the energy that's like, okay, maybe you needed this moon to come around this way so you could see a different way to come at something, a different way to get done what you're trying to get done. It's like, okay, which path is the best one? And maybe you couldn't see it before, and these energies work together here to shake out a different way for you or shake out different information that wasn't so or didn't at least feel so readily available to you okay 
Now on the 25th, which is Saturday, I know we go through the middle part of the week and the moon is happening. There are many smaller aspects that are happening and feel free to follow me on Facebook or Instagram where I'll give a little bit more of a daily update. But the big stuff this week kicks back in on Saturday when Pluto goes retrograde. Now Pluto is going to go retrograde at 25 degrees of Capricorn and it'll stay and do its retrograde nice and slow, true, true Pluto fashion all the way until October where it will come out at 22 degrees degrees of Capricorn. So in this area of life, you know, when a planet goes retrograde, what it's doing is asking us to read, to go back, go back in, revisit, re-edit, re-transform, recreate, reunite, something like that. So when a planet goes retrograde, it sends us back in. Now, when the planet is Pluto, it's sending you back in to something you have already been working on. Now, something, it's maybe even a business. It's a structure in your life. It's an idea of authority, which could even be a guiding thought or principle that you've had. It's sending you likely, though, back to something you've already been working on and asking you to reveal some truth about it, right? Asking you to transform about it. Now, we've just had this moon earlier in the week that has maybe kicked your path off a little and said, hey, look at it this way. Come at it this way. What about this? And now this retrograde time has given you new information to take to a project, to an idea, to a healing, to something you want to take forward and look at how you can use that to transform. Pluto is also an outer planet, so we will see in our world globally, we'll be going back to things. We'll be going back to see what needs to die off so that something else can live. This is a five month space where you get to take a deep breath, kind of go within, but you don't have to go sit within. Right? Pluto retrograde is going to make connections to both Mars and Venus. And that's in the video with Nadia Shah. So make sure you check out that Pluto retrograde video as well. But it's going to give you these opportunities to not just sit there and spin, but you do get to be on pause and see where to take the actions, where to realign with what's really true and right for your desire at this time, right? This little pause of pushing us all inside in, in general and pausing our world has given many of us an opportunity to say, what's right for me? What has been a little bit more superficial than I, I would like it to be or that I now believe it doesn't have to be? And where can I add some depth? and some meat into my life, into my education, into my structures, into whatever it is. The changes that you need to be making will become abundantly clear over this five months and you have time. It's a process, you guys. It's not like Pluto's retrograde, get it done in five days. You have time. The things will peel and reveal slowly. So don't be afraid to work with Plutonian energy. Sometimes I hear that. Don't be afraid but do know that Pluto is going to take you deep. And we've already started to experience some of that depth. So you're really in it already, but we'll do the official retrograding here um, from April until October. Okay. Now, the other thing I just want to throw at you this week is under this Pluto retrograde, if you feel like you're in a, con a control struggle or a power struggle with something within you or with another person, or maybe it's something you've been avoiding because you feel like there will be a power struggle, even if it's been real subtle. Pay attention to that because that's what's asking for your attention for you to address so that you can heal and transform it out, okay? Now on Sunday, as we end this week on the 26th, we're gonna have this Sun-Uranus conjunction, which is great. This has been a week of seeing the Sun dance with all kinds of Aquarian Uranian energy. So it is that kind of week, a week in technology. If I were to put a like, you know, a headline on it, a week of new society, a week of what do you do that adds to the whole? We've definitely got this kind of continuum going. But when the Sun and Uranus are in conjunction with each other, first of all, we kind of want to break free from something, right? I'm tired of being in the house. I'm tired of this. I want to move forward. What's next, right? It's kind of this rebellion dogs are at the door energy because ultimately what we're seeking is a freedom, a freedom to be me. Maybe we even want some excitement to come to the table, right? Oh, I really want to see something different. I want to know something different. Um, but either way, there is this urge to kind of push beyond where we have been for several weeks and maybe even longer than that. It's a place where you are also a little bit more, um, you're a bit more willing, I think, towards the end of the week to embrace something different, embrace being outside of your comfort zone. But either way, a Sun-Uranus conjunction 
really puts us in the position where we're okay with unexpected, we're okay with different solutions, we're okay with some kind of innovation. So we've got the sun who's in Taurus, conjuncting Uranus who's in Taurus. So I'm telling you, we are getting shaken out of our ruts here. That Taurus energy for you is very fixed. Wherever Taurus is landing in your chart, that area of you is fixed and it's been slowly loosening up from the roots because you know fixed energy is like to hold on forever to whatever whatever direction a fixed energy is going it just wants to go in that direction so now you'll have an adjustment but you will have also seen at the beginning of the week why the course correction or the new path was needed and now i think you're ready to embrace that at the end of the week a lot more than you were maybe two weeks ago so i think it's going to be an interesting week it's still busy a lot of the energies that we're working with we're working with still in a state of Kind of quarantine and are we coming in are we coming out so it's kind of a state of the unknown but enjoy the deep breath enjoy the break wherever you're at whether it feels good bad indifferent you're expanding you feel like you don't know what you're doing embrace where you are and be ready to be open to new truths this week and they're usually going to be new truths about the way that you're doing things or a different way that you could be doing things that makes things easier and more in the flow for you okay and don't forget to go get some juice like i'm just on this juice okay so make sure you check out a tribe member check them out at alphajuiceco.com and let me know what you think if you do check out some of the juice please come back let us know what you what you think what kind did you get any of that good stuff use your code the discounts in the description box down below as well there's still time to sign up for the 65,000 subscribers teaching sessions that are going to be happening in May that closes May 3rd so sign up for all four teaching sessions for 20 bucks okay all right you guys everything's in the description box down below like this video comment share subscribe more collaborations coming up in this channel I hope you like them I hope you love them and I hope they bring value I love you and I will see you next week bye everyone